Welcome to a new Houdini tutorial, Burning Cloth Tear. We will start this course by creating a simple cloth setup using Vellum. We will create and animate the collider geometry to drive the main deformations of our cloth. Using a custom growth solver, we will be able to manually delete constraints from the Vellum object, causing the cloth to tear. To have more flexibility, we will create a separate Vellum simulation with wind and noise, which we will combine with our main tearing simulation so we will essentially be layering two separate Velum simulations on top of each other. After we clean up the geometry, we move on to particles. We will base our particle emission source on the cloth that we created. Here we will talk about how to manually interpolate our particle source to create a smooth result without stepping issues. We will create a smoke simulation first and then we will advect our particles using the velocity field and we will create two different layers of particles. In the rendering section, everything will be fairly simple and straightforward. We will create a cloth material using Megascan's texture and we will set up a simple shader for our particle layers. Inside Nuke, we bring everything together. In this section, I will show you a very flexible way to add logo to our cloth that follows the animation. We will map the logo using the UV coordinates from our cloth and also show you how to use the normal ZOV in order to relight our geometry. We are going to color the particles directly inside of Nuke using our own custom gradient to ensure maximum flexibility. So I hope you will enjoy this course and let's get started. 